Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I have my last St. Patrick's Day DIY video of the season. I made this coastal farmhouse St. Patrick's Day tear tray using supplies from the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Spot at Target. And I can't wait to show you how I put it all together. I think it turned out really fun and it really goes with my decor. So the first thing I like to do is something kind of big, like a statement piece at the top. And I thought that this little shamrock sign from the Dollar Tree would work really well for that. I don't really want this little glittery part in the center. That's not me, but I love the outside. Like it looks like green boards and white boards and it kind of gives me that coastal farmhouse feel. And I'm gonna have it two-sided because it's gonna be on the top of my two-tier tray. So you're gonna be able to see both sides. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and do something with the back. So I'm just gonna paint it all over with just ivory acrylic paint. And then what I'm gonna try to do is to uh, recreate um, the little pattern on the other side, like loosely. So it took about two coats to get good coverage on this to cover up all that brown. And then I'm just gonna go in there with painter's tape and I'm gonna start marking off like a couple boards so that I can start painting this. And I, I love doing something big on the top. I'm gonna tie this to the top of my tear tray. I just think that it makes a really nice statement. So I'm gonna go in with a couple color of green. These are just acrylic paints that I picked up at Target. And I am gonna paint just a couple boards like the dark green color. And then I'm gonna move my tape to try to figure out where it needs to be there so that I can um, paint the next one. So just rearranging those to reveal new boards. And then I'm gonna go in with a lighter green and it's Emerald and Luna Moth. But these are the old brand, I think, of Target Acrylic Paint. So I did get these on clearance. And I'm gonna paint a few boards of this a light green color. And that's gonna kinda give me the same vibe as the other side, two different colors of green and an ivory alternating like boards. So once I get that all on and together, um, I'm just gonna touch up the ivory to make sure everything looks good, dry that, and then I'm gonna paint um, like the boards on with just a fine tip Sharpie. I'm just gonna draw lines because on the other side you can kinda see like a darker line in between the boards and it kind of makes it a little bit more defined and I'm not using a ruler or anything like that I'm just using I'm freehanding it and that was pretty easy then I want to go in and distress the whole thing so I'm just using a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree and some ivory acrylic paint and I'm gonna actually go in and distress both sides it's gonna give me that coastal farmhouse feel now my theme today is Coastal Farmhouse, but it would be very easy to convert anything I do today into just farmhouse. Just by not, by not adding the coastal touches that I do. Then I'm just gonna use twine and I am gonna wrap that all around the stem of the shamrock. And I actually end up having to use quite a bit of that to attach that to the top of my tear tray because I didn't really want to damage anything on there. Okay, our next DIY, I'm gonna use a sign from the Dollar Tree. They have some really cute ones. I'm just gonna pop the hanger off the back and we're gonna to tone this down. It's covered like in um, glittery shamrocks, which not really my vibe. So I'm gonna go in with a sanding block from the Dollar Tree, wipe off a lot of glitter and really rough this up and make it look a little bit more farmhouse. Once I get it distressed and take off some of the glitter, I'm gonna go in and tone it down more with just a matte Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree going all over. Um, that always tones down the glitter a little bit for me, especially when, when I'm going for that farmhouse look. And once I get that all on and dry, I'm also gonna distress it just a little bit on the sides with some ivory. Um, because that part didn't really, you know, rough up too much. 
with the sanding like the front did, but the front distressed really nicely. Then I wanted to add a few coastal touches. And so I'm not really happy with the shamrocks on there. They still are very glittery. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and cover them up with some little tiny um, seashells I have. These are the little tiny seashells that come in the jars from the Dollar Tree and the little tiny starfish that I get on Amazon. I can post a link for those. And I'm gonna attach them all with hot glue. And check out that cool little organizer I got at Dollar Tree. It's like in the toy department to um, organize little like Lego toys, but it works perfectly for little things like this. Now, I was afraid that this might fall over just because it's a little bit flimsy being from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to hot glue on a couple of those little Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree onto the base of it to make it a little bit heavier. Okay, this next find was from the Dollar Spot at Target. And it's only a dollar, so check that out. The Dollar Spot is now cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And I love it, it's perfect. The only thing I wanted to is add a little bit of coastal touch to this as well. One side says love and one side says luck. So I thought I would just decorate the little shamrocks. This um, one with one of those little tiny uh, starfish that I get on Amazon, I love those. And then um, like maybe with like a little seashell here on the other side. And the colors are perfect and so, if you didn't want to do like a coastal theme, you could totally just use this as is. It's so cute. And they just got these in at my Target Dollar Spots. First time I have seen them. And I have another um, St. Patrick's Day tear tray that I have done. It's a more traditional one if you want to check that out. I actually made the top of the tear tray into a leprechaun gnome. So that's really fun. That DIY is ready to go. It's a little short, so I'm probably gonna sit it on one of those Jenga blocks from Five Below. Okay, up next is this great little rainbow planter that I got at the Target Dollar Spot for $3. It's so pretty. The colors are really muted and I think it's gonna go well with my theme. I wanna fill it with gold coins, but I don't wanna waste too much, so I'm gonna fill it in with polyfill, but you can also use like grocery bags just to fill it up. And then I thought for my pot of gold, I would use a seashells. I did this on one of my other St. Patrick's Day projects, and I used this gold metallic acrylic paint that I got at the Target Dollar Spot and painted the shells gold. And I really love that touch. I really love the pot of gold being seashells. So I thought I would recreate that on this tear tray. And so I just picked out some plain white seashells that I found at the beach. They can be anything because I'm gonna paint them all gold. It's always a good idea to go in with a brush so you can get in all those little grooves of the shell, but leave a little bit of white showing through so you can get a little bit of texture. And we got all of our gold painted. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and dry those and then arrange those in our little rainbow and our little rainbow will be filled with our little pot of gold seashells. I really hope you're enjoying these St. Patrick's Day tear trade DIYs. If you are, please take a moment to hit that like button. And when you're done watching, I would really appreciate if you left a comment of your favorite project below. I am so busy, but I try to get back with the comments, but I always read them all and I always love to see what you guys have to say. And we got those all in there. I thought I did maybe too many, but I think I did just enough, so it's kind of overflowing. And here's our rainbow pot of gold. I love how this turned out. So cute. Okay, the next DIY is from the Dollar Tree. It is a little wood rainbow light that I got at the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree, and it lights up, so super cool. I'm gonna kind of do this kind of in a muted colors, kind of like that other rainbow that we just did from the dollar spot. And so I picked out like three colors. I decided to, um, this is candy apple red, kind of skip every other color. So I did like red, yellow, blue, um, cause there's like three parts of this. 
each one is split into two. So if you wanted to do a full rainbow, you could, but I was kind of going for more of a more abstract, more coastal farmhouse look. So I thought three colors would be a little bit less obnoxious. And this is our yellow color. And I'm just going in with a little brush and just painting those in. Whenever I do like these boxy wood signs from the Dollar Tree, I try to only paint like the front. Just leave the rest of it natural wood. It's too hard to get in all of the nooks and crannies of the back, especially with that little built-in light. But I love that this lights up, that's really fun. So this is our blue color, it's the Caribbean blue from Target. And then for the clouds, I'm just gonna do those in ivory, just kind of going all over, not really having any um, distinct lines between the rainbow and the fluffy cloud, and painting both of those ivory. And I thought I would just distress it slightly with that ivory while I had that brush out. And I'm not really gonna add any coastal touches to this. I think that it is good on its own. So cute. Okay, this next one is from the Target Dollar Spot. I got this for a dollar. It's a little shamrock that looks like an Irish flag. Since this is on a tear tray, you can kind of see the back, so I do have to take the tags off, even if they're being obnoxious like this one was. I was scratching it up with my scraper, but that's okay because I'm gonna distress it all anyway. So just working to get that tag off. It didn't really wanna come off. And um, the back, I'm just gonna go ahead and distress all over with that ivory acrylic paint and then um, wipe off any excess. And I'm also gonna do that to the flag side. Then I thought, what could I do to make this a little coastal? And then I'm like, it just needs a starfish. So I get these starfish on Amazon. I love them. And I'm just gonna attach that with a little bit of hot glue. And I will post a link below to all of the starfish that we use today. So cute. And it gave it just a little bit of a beachy feel. Okay, up next is this great shamrock planter that I also got at the Target Dollar Spot for $3. It's pretty large. It's a beautiful soft color of green. And I thought this would be great for a little plant to bring in a little greenery for our tear tray. I'm gonna use one of these little Dollar Tree greenery plants wrapped in burlap. Just gonna leave it like that and shove it in there. It's the perfect size for this little tiny planter. Perfect size for a tear tray. Then I'm just gonna use some reindeer moss to cover up any of that exposed pot inside to kind of make it look a little bit better. Then I decided that I did want it to have like a little bit of a coastal feel. So I decided to use just a seashell that I got at the Dollar Tree and just glue that on to the front of our shamrock. And again, you can make any of these DIYs today just farmhouse with just leaving out the little shells and starfish touches. And just making sure that's attached. I thought about distressing it, but with the ceramic, I wasn't sure how well that this would paint. So I think the seashell is gonna be it. And I love how this DIY turned out. Isn't it cute? Okay, up next is another Target Dollar Spot find. I found this rainbow and pot of gold for a dollar at the Target Dollar Spot. Again, my Target just got these in as well. So if you haven't seen these things, you can check again, and maybe your Target just got them in as well. Just removing the tag on the back. The only thing I don't like about this cute little rainbow is all of the gold is gold glitter. That's not really gonna go with my coastal farmhouse vibe. So I'm just gonna go over the whole thing with some matte Mod Podge to tone down that glitter. And then distressing it with a little bit of ivory acrylic that is left on my brush. Now I really wasn't digging the glitter. And so I thought it would be fun to use some seashells for the pot of gold for this one as well. And these are those little round um, seashells that come in the little glass bottles from Dollar Tree. And I just picked out some round ones that would fill up like my little pot of gold. And that's also gonna cover up that gold glitter and give it a little bit of a coastal feel as well. 
So I'm just gonna go in and attach all of those to that little sign with hot glue. And this was a perfect customization to make this little sign special. I love St. Patrick's Day. I love the rainbows and the pot of gold and the shamrocks. I think it's so much fun to decorate for. And then I'm gonna go in with some of that gold acrylic paint and I'm just gonna paint those. They were all kind of a gold color anyway, but I kind of wanted them to match a little bit and be a little bit more gold. So I thought this little final touch really brought out our little pot of gold. And it's one of those things that you have to look closely at to see that they are shells. Okay, I want to make some signs. I'm going to use one of these like old Father's Day signs that I got at the Target dollar spot and a window decal from the Dollar Tree to make a very easy little sign. But first I want to cover up all the writing on this with just some ivory acrylic. It did take a couple of coats to give me a rough coverage on there. That's going to give me um, where you can't see the writing. Then I'm going to cover the whole thing with Mod Podge. And I'm going to go in with one of these little window decals from the Dollar Tree. And I thought this little sign was really cute. And I'm just going to attach that there with the Mod Podge. It's a little too long, but that's okay. I can always just cut off the little bottom part of it. And this is such an easy way to make a sign with just a little bit of Mod Podge all over the top as well. Then I am going to dry that. There was a little dot on the top there. Sometimes those um, decals from the Dollar Tree have a little bit of extra stuff going around the little clear part. So I'm just gonna um, take some ivory and kind of paint that and then kind of distress all over to give it that little farmhouse vibe. I got a bunch of these little chunky signs after Father's Day on clearance at the Target dollar spot. They're the perfect size for a tear tray. So whenever these things go on clearance at Target, I always try to pick them up because they're so easy to customize and make them your own. So once I get that distressed, I dry it and here is our cute little St. Patrick's Day directional arrow sign. And done to our next DIY. I got one of these little puzzles from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna make this into a great sign for our tear tray. I love using things like this. Whenever I see wood at the Dollar Tree, I pick it up. I'm gonna save all those wooden shapes because I can totally use those for other DIYs. I also got one of these little Easter bags at the Dollar Tree because I thought that this really kind of looked like a braided like seagrass. So I thought that would go really good with like the coastal theme. So I'm just gonna cut off the front of the bag. I was thinking about covering um, the side that had the puzzle on it, but I thought you might be able to see that through. So I decided to make the puzzle piece uh, the back of the sign. And so since it is a tear tray, I don't want that to show. So I'm just gonna use some wood um, contact paper, just something I had laying around and just cover the back of that. And that's gonna give me more of a flat back to our little coastal sign. I wanted to do like a seagrass shamrock sign with this. So once I get it all on there, I just use my sanding block around the edges and you can easily peel off a perfect cut for the back of your sign. And that's gonna give me that finished product. And the, if you wanted to like stain this, it'd be really pretty because it's a really nice piece of wood. But I am gonna attach to that faux seagrass. So I'm gonna go over with Mod Podge, a really thick coat because I'm attaching something kind of really heavy to the front and just laying that bag on the top. And then I will dry that a little bit with my heat gun since it was so thick, it did take a little bit of time to dry. And then I am going to just go around with my fabric scissors and cut off the excess of that little bag around the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going for that farmhouse feel. And it really wasn't attached well around the edges. So I go over the top of it with another really thick coat of Mod Podge and kind of work the same direction as it is to get that down in there. And that really worked to attach that to the sign and make it more cohesive. Once I get it dry, I'm gonna use one of these little glittery um, shamrocks from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna use the back cause I don't really want the glitter. And I like this like soft color of green. And so I am just gonna attach that with hot glue, which wasn't a great idea because it did kind of melt it. 
but you can't see it in the final product, but I probably should have used Mod Podge or another kind of glue for that. And then to make it coastal, I'm just gonna attach a starfish from Amazon. And I love, love, love how this turned out. It's so pretty, so cute. And totally my style. Okay, the next project, I'm gonna use one of these white candle holders from the Dollar Tree. I have one that I had previously painted ivory. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one as well as one of these little uh, green candles from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna make a, just a really simple St. Patrick's Day candle for our tear tray. So just removing all the packaging. Then I thought I could customize the candle and make it like a St. Patrick's Day candle using some of these window decals from the Dollar Tree. I love decorating with these. I'm gonna use my heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, um, you should get one. <laughs> but um, you can always use a blow dryer. I have a link to my heat gun um, and from Amazon below. It was only like $10, I think, and I just use it all the time. So once it got a little bit melted, I just laid the decal on top and it attached perfectly to the side of the candle. I did a shamrock on one side and a little horseshoe, lucky horseshoe on the other. And just make sure you don't melt it too much because you don't want like a dent in the side of your candle. They were still a little too glossy for me and I want them to look more matte. So I do go over them with a little bit of a matte Mod Podge. And I'm not planning to burn this candle since it's on my tear tray. It's gonna be more just for decor. So I'm just gonna go over those with that matte Mod Podge and we have our little St. Patrick's Day candle. So easy, just gonna put that on the candlestick that I painted ivory and it's ready to go. Okay, I wanted a wood bead garland. So I'm gonna reuse this one that I made for my Valentine's Day tear tray for my flamingo one. This is wood bead garland from the Dollar Tree. And I had just made a very simple tassel on one end with twine from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna remove what I had on there. And then I'm gonna use a couple of these little gold coins from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna kind of sandwich them with hot glue over the remaining twine that's sticking out. And we'll have just a little gold coin for the end of our beaded garland that can like hang off the side. I'm gonna leave the wood beads all natural. I really like that look. And just cleaning up any extra hot glue. Then I wanted to add a few touches of green. So I just took a couple of ribbons from the Dollar Tree that are green. And I'm actually gonna just cut them in half because they were way too thick. So I'm just using some fabric scissors to try to not get any fraying because a lot of times the ribbon will fray when you cut them like this. But I really didn't have any green ribbons that were thin enough. But what I'm gonna do is just go in and attach these little ribbons um, in two different colors into that tassel just to try to give it a little bit more St. Patrick's Day flair. So I just kind of put them over the top of the existing tassel that I have. I'm gonna tie on some more twine and I'm just gonna wrap that all around until it kind of feels like that is more built into our little tassel. And this was a great way to reuse a wood bead garland that I already had. And I love a wood bead garland on a tear tray. So just wrapping that around, it did make it like kind of super thick and chunky and that's okay. I kind of wish the ribbons were a little bit more in with the twine, but I think it gave me the effect I wanted. So I'm just tying off that twine and then trimming up the ribbons to size and it gave me just a little bit of St. Patrick's Day flair. And that is our wood bead garland. Okay, I wanted to make a few more signs. The one on the left is another one of those Father Day signs that I used for my um, melted snowman tear tray. And then the other is a little um, uh, Father's Day sign that I also got on clearance at the Target Dollar Spot. It has a frame and I don't really wanna paint it because I don't wanna get any on that frame. So to cover up all that writing on there, I'm just using some ivory cardstock that I had 
and trying to cut that to size. And I'm just gonna hot glue that on. It's gonna give me a fresh base sign. And then the other one's easy to paint because it doesn't have a frame. So I'm just gonna go over that and repaint that ivory. This was the same exact sign that we used earlier, a little great size for a tear tray. And it did take a couple coats of ivory paint to get good coverage. And now we can make some little St. Patrick's Day signs. I'm gonna use these headpans from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna use some heat to try to carefully um, take off one of these little leprechauns. This one was fighting me a little bit. I ended up having to cut off the pipe cleaner, but it gives me a great little, little um, leprechaun. He's covered in glitter. So I do go over him, all of him, with a like little um, bit of matte Mod Podge to tone down that glitter. And then careful with the heat gun because you can melt this felt really easily. And I'm gonna attach that to the front of this little ivory sign with just a little bit of hot glue on the little felt circle on the back. And we have a very simple little leprechaun sign. I think these signs will be great for the side of my tear tray so that every side is decorated for St. Patrick's Day. So cute. Okay, on this one, I'm also gonna use a headband um, from the Dollar Tree. This one is a little leprechaun hat. And this one came off way more easily. Just used a little bit of heat. Again, covered in glitter Dollar Tree. <laughs> And I'm gonna go over the whole thing with Matte Mod Podge to tone that one down as well. You can still tell that they are glitter, but they're not like super sparkly like they were before. They go more with my theme. And this little hat fits perfectly into this little tiny sign. And again, I'm gonna attach it with some hot glue on the little circle on the back. It kind of makes it stick out a little bit 3D as well. And here we go. Are you ready to build our St. Patrick's Day tear drain? Thank you for watching. Let's do it.